So the design criteria or guidelines that get a little technical, but I'll cover them lightly. Start talking things about tech capability. How much can this business process do? How much does it need to do? Now, in, uh, oh, I'll just go through them. Tech capability, continuous flow, first in, first out, something called the workflow cycle, integration events, standard workflow flow, single point, scheduling, pitch, and then of course there's always gonna be changes. The first one intact. In the office, by the way, tech means, of course, customer demand. So in the office, what's your customer demand? Your answer would be, who knows? We have no idea what our demand really is. Right, and you probably won't, and that's perfectly fine. So in the office, it's not having a tact time, it's having a tact capability, which means I don't know how often my customer wants us to do this service or function, but I know what we can do. So I go in and I set a capability. If I look at this and say, okay, I might have different modes of capabilities that have to toggle with changing customer demand, depending on how frequently this stuff is gonna happen, all right? So not your basic tack time in the office, switch that concept to something called the tack capability. And here's an example of a picture of this where there's different modes, one, two, three, and then this little meter tells us which mode is this office in right now. So everybody knows what the standard work is for mode two. And if it goes to mode three, everybody knows what the standard work is for mode three. 